Greetings, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy snow if you're here on the East Coast. Hope you love this background over here. You can find backgrounds more, or backgrounds similar to this and more, over at digitalblasphemy.com. This is not a paid advertisement. It is a site that I happen to pay for to get really cool wallpapers like this. Background music is an instrumental version of Planet Caravan, a song that I originally fell in love with by Pantera, but the first version of it is, of course, Black Sabbath. So I've got some news for you guys here. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the news is either going to be good or disappointing to you, depending upon your perspective. Um... I apologize that I had to sit on this news for a day or so, but I was getting over a uh, relatively bad cold that I had in between Christmas and New Year's, and my voice was shot. It kind of sounded like a nasal Vin Diesel for a little while, and it was just really obnoxious to try and talk because of it. But here it is, the 4th of 2018. And I'm going to share this news with you guys about Saviors of the Multiverse. As you may know, Saviors of the Multiverse is the game that is built upon Marvel Avengers Alliance and we've been hoping should come out. A little bit of background, there was a setback um, in the early fall where the dev had said that his life was getting a little hectic and he was going to be the only person in his household where he could be the breadwinner. And uh, that made it so he had to focus more on earning money rather than coding a game for free. Well, we've had some news along the way, but I'm going to read out the most recent news to you. So this is all taking place in the Discord dedicated to this game as it's being developed called Multiverse Saviors. The news is this. Napalm Dawn. I have news from Gaming Life Beginner that he has announced that he has plans to release the beta version during the U.S. release of Infinity War. Therefore, to accelerate the progress of the game, we all need help on doing the uh, seasons and the spec ops and everything like that. So, you're hearing it here, folks. Gaming Life Beginner has set a date of the U.S. release of Infinity War. So now, you might be thinking, hey, Nat, you said there's good news and bad news, or it might be good news, it might be bad news. What's the deal? That sounds pretty good. Well, I'm going to tell you, you are allowed to feel about this news any way you want. You might be incredibly disappointed that you have to wait all the way for maybe five months down the road before we even see the beta. Will the beta be open? Will it be closed? We don't know. So I can understand if you're like, Man, this guy said he would maybe have this by Christmas, and now we have to wait until May? Well, for me, that would be an awesome birthday gift for me, because my birthday is in May. But, um, in the USA, it's on the 25th of April. So he's aiming for the end of April, early May. The good news is that the guy is setting a date, he's setting a time frame again, and everything like that. The disappointing thing is, you know, maybe you don't want to wait that long. Maybe you're like, man, it's just going to be so far out of my brain by that point, I don't know that I'll go back to it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being very negative about this news, and 10 being, oh my god, I'm super hyped, we finally have a date, he's finally resurfaced again. That's a 10, that's the super positive. I admit, I'm at about a 5 or a 6. I'm right in the middle. And what I said to the guy that Gaming Life Beginner talked to, I said this, if you can, please press Gaming Life Beginner heavily for some screenshots and some media showing where he is in some way, shape, or form. I think there is a large contingent of people that will be more than happy to hope and wait for the project if they have something to believe in. 
he may receive higher levels of enthusiastic help if people know their time is going to something that won't wind up being a bamboozle, to use a popular phrase. He responded and said, we, Mercury and I, already sent the message to GLB, so we need to wait for an answer. I specifically asked for a screenshot of the login area. So there you go, folks. Um, Gaming Life Beginner has had a relatively decent private message chain going on with um, a member of Reddit over here. And we're at least getting some news about it. And I want to show you guys what is being worked on in this particular um, Discord over here to give you an idea of what the community has been doing. So, knowing that if we simply release the characters exactly the way they were when Marvel Avengers Alliance was out, we could face property rights issues over here. Intellectual property. So several people in the community have been taking characters and sprites and recoloring them so as to avoid a direct one-on-one -on -one steal from Playdom. So like over here, this is Archangel recolored to purple. It's not one of the ones I like the most. But here is Cable with a deeper purple skin color and a green. Here is Boomerang in a pretty cool color, along with some other artwork. Here are some uh, recolored abilities for Blue Marvel, who now looks green. Uh, here's some other work over here. This looks like uh, potentially Mysterio to a certain degree. So maybe we will have Mysterio in the game. Uh, this looks like uh, Mock, which was what Black Knight turned into towards the end of the game over here. One of the worthy. So this is the work that is being done by community members. Here's Thor's Beta Ray Bill. So now mind you, all these characters will be renamed when the game is released by GLB. So uh, Beta Ray Bill might actually be called Thor's, Thor Horse or something like that. Or Lightning Clip Clop. Avalanche might be Rock Sunder or something like that. You are war more than welcome to change elements of the game to be back to what they were once the game is released and GLB gives you a quick little coding breakdown on how to make things the way they used to be. This way you don't have to have the phony MAA you are absolutely available to change it back to what you wanted it to be. So, a couple other things over here. They have uh, some other characters they're thinking of adding to the game. Uh, there is somebody who was working on the art of Thor Ragnarok sword and reworking a version of, of Thor for that. Um, my idea was potentially to somehow work the Runaways TV show into the game. However, I later kind of disagreed with my own thought because I don't believe the Runaways show is really releasing things that we could bring into the game. It's not like we can have an alternate Molly suit. Uh, Carolina's Carolina, nothing much new there. Gertrude isn't doing anything that I think would be worthy of a game insertion yet other than the fact that she is now in charge of Lace rather than Chase. Chase isn't much different. Maybe, you know, Alex is a villain. There's not been enough flushed. As much as I love Runaways, I, I don't think there's enough flushed out yet for us to use that. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things being discussed over here. Some people have put up dialogue for chapters and seasons and everything so the community has been hard at work even though GLB like went underground for a little while but um, the easiest thing that I can say is that GLB is setting a date of the end of April early May and um, 
that's the best that I could do for you guys. I'm sorry I didn't report on it a day or two sooner. I just wanted to get my voice back so that I could record a video and not be particularly strained uh, doing it. I usually don't get colds that last more than a day. And this one went for a little while over there. So we have a Discord dedicated to the game. We have a Facebook group called Saviors in the Multiverse dedicated to it. I've shared the news there. Um... There's going to be some Venomverse stuff, Secret Wars, uh, Infinity War, movie-related items going in. So, people have plans, and hopefully, as soon as I get some media from what he's done, I will share it with you guys here on the channel. Um, any news I get, I will always give to you as timely as possible. I know a lot of people have been clamoring for news on the game recently a lot of people have not appropriately gone after me and been like you're fooling us and blah 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 it's i'm simply reporting on what's out there this is not me saying the game is going to be out or it'll be out here it'll be out then that's not me i'm simply taking information from one source and i'm putting it on youtube so if you're upset with the progress of the game, don't be upset at me. You're literally shooting the messenger. So, and again, any opinion you have on this, personally, I find to be valid. If you don't believe the guy and think he's doing a very long con, you're entitled to that. I would kind of disagree because this is, this is a very long payout. It's... It's literally like getting involved in a game of blackjack that you know is going to stretch out over six months. Like, who wants to do that? Who wants to sit there and play a game of blackjack at the speed of old people fucking in quicksand? So I don't think he's trying to fool us. I think he legitimately had life issues that screwed up his plan. And that's where we are now. If you're very hyped about the game, if you're going to start to hold your breath and wait for it, you're entitled to that too. To you, I would say, don't be hyped yet until we see some proof of the work he's done. Don't believe in Santa Claus until you hear some boots on the roof and your cookies eaten and your milk is half drank. That's how I feel about it. I'm not being excessively cynical I'm not being the glass is half full or half empty I like to think I'm straight down the middle on this one and I would encourage people to have medium emotions about this middle of the road I would not fall to either side of the bell curve just yet if he releases a burst of 10 screenshots that talented people look at and go yeah this doesn't seem photoshopped I'm not seeing pixel seams or anything then we can maybe start getting excited. Um, if he somehow was able to record 10-15 seconds of animation like a login and sending stuff out on a flight deck and getting it to one of us, then we should be excited. For now, think of it just like Infinity Wars. You know the movie's coming out. Sit back, chill out, have a beer, smoke some dweebage. And just wait and see what happens. Um, in other news on the channel, I'm going to be covering the two new heroes in DC Legends. And we're going to be talking about some news in Marvel Future Fight. Because there's stuff going on over there, including... I'm going to leave this as a cliffhanger. The last time we saw this guy, he killed Marvel Avengers Alliance. Now he's in Marvel Future Fight. So the jokes are abounding. That maybe Marvel Future Fight's gonna die because somebody showed up. And that somebody also killed Marvel Avengers Alliance. So, there you go, guys. Let me know what you think about this news down below. If you like talking about Saviors in the Multiverse, give a subscribe and a like. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.